What's going on guys? Dragast here and welcome back to another episode of Oxygen Not Included. So since we last played, I did wait a little bit because uh, a lot of people haven't played uh, when I was actually playing it and there was a lot of people giving some amazing information uh, on how to do this game better. I went into it kind of not knowing anything and this is how it turned out. Not that it's bad, we're actually in a really good position like I said before. Uh, we, we're not having oxygen issues. Uh, a little bit of carbon dioxide down here but that's that's normal, these guys breathe, they produce carbon dioxide. So, honestly, I haven't had too bad of a time, but uh, I do want to improve this base now. First of all, we're going to get the tiles down, because I do want to have tile floors. We also need some sort of decor. And tiles will actually give us plus five decor, that will make our residents less stressed. And it should allow them to get a better sleep, so I definitely do want to do that today. Now, I need, uh, what do I need? Raw material, 200 kgs. So we do need to do a little bit of digging right now. Uh, I, I'm amazed I don't have any resources, though, considering I have all this stuff in here. So I guess we're gonna have to find that right now. I'm also going to, uh, focus on researching once again, because I want to research as much as possible, as quickly as possible. Uh, because getting that done just makes this a lot easier. Now, this is actually saying no wire connected. I'm assuming that means, uh, there's nobody on the wheel. And, uh, yes, my assumption is correct. Let's prioritize that up into a 9, because I do basically want someone always on that wheel. We're gonna unpause time here and see how everybody's doing. Uh, we got this thing being made over here. This is the algae terrarium. This is where we ended the last episode. That's going to convert our carbon dioxide that we are producing into oxygen. Uh, now hopefully somebody gets on this wheel. I think Hideki did have to go to the washroom. Speaking of that, let's actually put in another washroom here. I don't want to have contamination issues, and, uh, not having enough washrooms could be a really bad thing. So we're gonna put in, uh, where is the washroom? Is it in base? Uh, let me pause the time for a second here. It's gotta be, oh yeah, it's in plumbing. I totally forgot about that. So we'll put another one down here. I guess we'll just put that right there. What else do I want? I think I'm gonna have to do some rearranging here. I don't want my cots by the machinery. I think I'm gonna move all the cots over to here. Uh, and I might bring the medical lot over to here. So yeah, let's, uh... Let's do that today. This might be a little risky. I don't know what time it is in the day. I kind of just went for it here. We're going to actually get rid of this one, too, because I want to put a door over here. And we'll get rid of the cot as well. All right, and while they do that, we're going to put down some more cots here. I'm actually going to spread them out because, again, I want to deal with the decor. Decor is one of the mechanics that I didn't really take into account. These people get stressed without certain plants and things, so I'm going to want to obviously make these rooms uh, acceptable to them. Also, tiles, I don't know. Oh, I can make them now. Perfect. So we're going to make tiles all the way down here. We're going to tile this whole place because right now we're living in the dirt quite literally, and I don't want that to happen. So let's move this to tile as well. This to tile. We're also going to add some doors and stuff later on. Today's going to be kind of a fixing episode because I went into this game very early before anyone else was really playing it, uh, at least from what I saw. And obviously, I made a few mistakes coming into it so early without much knowledge on the game. And I really haven't played many games like this either, so I'm kind of I'm kind of impressed with how well I did considering, you know, I didn't know anything about this. So we got the LG Terrarium here. That should be converting this small amount of carbon dioxide into oxygen. And it looks like that's what it's doing right there uh, with the little rave show that it's got going on. All right, how are we doing for our next duplicate? So that's coming in 10 minutes from now. So that's good. Hopefully these get built really quickly. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, so we had contaminated water leak through the side because I built way too close to that contaminated water. Now what the- I don't even know what to do, guys. I truly don't know what to do. Uh, <laughs> fucking sea top here. I don't know if he's gonna survive this. I might need to close this whole thing off. And I don't know how to do that, to be honest. So, uh, yeah, we're just gonna tile that off for right now. Hopefully sea top gets out of here. <laughs> if that's not the case, this is bad. Okay, let's just, uh, see top, see top, you're, you're, what are you doing? Just run! Okay, let's, uh, let's deconstruct these. Oh my god, shit is hitting the fans. Guys, guys, no, no, we don't need to be digging that right now. We definitely don't need to be digging that. Get the fuck out! Get the, no, don't lock yourself in! Please don't lock yourself in. Oh my god, this is, this is really bad. Insufficient resources. Obsidian, oh no. Alright, we're gonna deconstruct this, and I'm going to tile it off over here, maybe? I think that should be good. So let's do that right behind C-Top. Hopefully they'll listen and actually do the C-Top. C-Top, what the fuck are you doing? No, C-Top, I need you. Uh, okay, they're building. C-Top, I don't want you- Oh god, C-Top. Well, 
Uh, I don't think it's looking good for Sita. All right, maybe I don't need to do this because it's not leaking that much. It's definitely leaking though. Uh, and I don't want to get it into my water. We're definitely gonna have to help C Top out though. Uh, he's hungry. So what I'm gonna do to save C Top, we're just going to build this a little bit. I'm going to build him a ladder. Sorry guys, I didn't expect this to happen so early on. And hopefully he can escape this. Let's get C Top to uh, prioritize that. I don't know what he's even doing. I think he's actually grabbing loot. Of all things right now, he's grabbing loot. That, that, that's, a, that's a committed C Top. All right, we're gonna turn that to nine because we need to get C Top the fuck out of here. All right, there we go. We got the rest of the crew coming to help C-Top escape. And, I mean, there's contamination everywhere. We're gonna have to deal with this. I think I can just easily mop it up. I'm not too certain, though. Uh, he's actually grabbing loot over here to escape, which is hilarious to me. C-Top, please, yes. Get out of here, buddy. Get out. I, I know. I know it's rough, bro. Okay, so yeah, he just grabbed a little bit of oxygen. There's no oxygen in there. This has been a rough day for C-Top already. Uh, let's actually focus on other things as well while we're doing this. So I'm gonna have to close this off, obviously, and that cot is pretty much a goner. I'm also gonna have to mop this up. Let's tell someone to mop this up right now, because that, I don't want any contamination here, especially with my clean water over here. Uh, I got a little bit more clean water over here, so we're gonna have to deal with water later. We got lots of clean water right now, though, which is good. All right, and there we go. Hopefully this gives us, uh, C-Top the ability to actually leave. Uh, maybe I do have to build a ladder for him to climb down as well. So here you go, C-Top. Uh, please just do this, buddy. I need you to get the fuck out of here. He's just chilling in here, man. He's so committed to getting all these resources. All right, there we go, C-Top. I understand you're hungry. We will feed you the moment you get out of here. I wish these guys would come and help. There you go. C-Top, please leave. Come on, buddy. All right. There we go, C-Top has escaped. Okay, and with C-Top escaping, we're going to tile this off, and hopefully that will keep the contamination in there. I'm praying. Oh, Shannon, what are you doing? We don't need to go over here. Why, why is everybody, okay. Prioritize this as a fucking one. No, we don't, I, you know what, deconstruct that. We don't need this done anymore, so we're gonna cancel all that. Uh, I don't wanna deconstruct anything else because I don't want people coming over here. So Shannon, you need to get out. I don't want another person locked in. Thank you. Okay, now, now, guys, fill it up, please. What the fuck? Don't sleep in there, Mystique. Oh god, this is, this is just chaos. And Mystique can't breathe because quite literally he's sleeping in filth over here. So there you go. Go back to sleep, and hopefully in the morning they will actually close this off from the right side. I don't really know how to tell them, you know, go to this side when you're building it. So uh, they kind of got a mind of their own. We'll see if it actually works here. Let's actually speed up time. There we go. Daytime. Perfect. Mystique. No. Don't you. Don't you fucking do it. Okay. Uh, why is there. Now, now, now there's two over here. And Shannon's fucking building it. Okay. Well. All right. We're just going to cancel that then. And once again, wait for everybody to get out. Mystique. There you go. Everybody get out. Now, if I put the fucking tiles on, guys, I don't want you to go over there. I just want you to close it. Please allow that to happen. <laughs> Oh god, Shannon, what are you doing? Shannon? Okay. Uh, there we go. There we go! Shannon, you saved the fucking day. Alright, now I don't have to worry about that. We can tie all this bitch off, and Mystique is doing the final one. So, yes, as you can see, this has totally broken through. So that happens, by the way. You can actually have leaks through the, the stone, which makes sense. And that can happen. Now, we did save the day here. Let me actually look at the overlay here. We got a lot of carbon dioxide over there. Everything is totally fine, though. So, uh, crisis averted. Let's uh, finish this up now and actually get their cots set up so they're not sleeping on the ground tonight. Because I'd rather them not be that pissed off. Okay, so now we can destruct this, uh, get rid of that, and we're going to put a cot. Oh, no, not, not, I don't want to, I don't want the cot flying. I can't believe you can even do that. I don't even know what would happen there. Would it just hit the ground? Okay, but we're going to put one cot there, one cot there, one cot there, and of course there's not enough room in here because of the fucking ladder, uh, to do the final one. So actually, if I deconstruct this, uh, can I tell it to put it over something that's already built? And no, it actually won't do it. So let's just do three cots for right now. Uh, you know what? We're just going to put them closer together. I did want to put plants in between to make them, you know, a little bit more happier. But I do want a door on this as well. So there we go. We'll just do that for now. And uh, they're building the tiles over here and everything. So everything is going more or less good. Uh, that was really close there. I'm also worried about uh, water leaking through over here now because we just already had that water leaking issue. 
All right, so how are we doing for food? We're not doing good at all. So food is going to be a big issue here. Uh, we got these guys eating, of course, so that's going to be even a bigger issue. Prioritize. All right, that's still at 9, so hopefully they'll start running soon. Uh, but I am going to have to deal with my food really quickly, so let me see what we can do. So house is a single plant which will periodically produce food or medicine. All right, so I think we're going to go up top a little bit and make a little planter's bay over here. So let's start digging out all of this. You know what? I'm just going to go all the way across. We're going to dig out a big space here because uh, we're going to need it anyways, and we will also tile this off. So let's go, and we will tile off this bottom part of the ground. So we're just going to have to do that. There we go. Deconstruct this top part because I didn't mean to do that, and now i got to tell it to dig because because it overrided that. Uh, also, I'm going to want to do a lot of digging today. Because if you see these little cracks, I didn't notice this until now. Uh, but this is where buried objects are. So I think you can get like seeds here for farming. Uh, things like that. So we're definitely going to want to get to some of those today. So let's actually, uh, actually do that with that in mind. So we're going to go over here. We're going to dig down here. Um, I just got to make sure I can actually get out of here. So I, I think too high is about... As high as we can go now, I don't want to go too far over this way, but I definitely do want to get these if I can. So let's get those. Let's get that one up there too if we can. Uh, so yeah, we're just going to find some of the resources that we need. There's going to be a lot of digging today, a lot of expanding. Also, let's get someone on the research station. As I did say, I wanted to do that. So we did all the farming tech. That's complete. Next up, we got to figure out what we want. So I'm thinking... Uh, power regulation might be good. Liquid piping, obviously, we're going to need in the very near future. Decor as well, though. Decor seems very important in this game, so we might do that. I'm thinking, though, uh, wire bridge, power switch, battery. I do kind of want the batteries, because I never have a guy running on my thing. And I am going to get an athletic in the next dupe, uh, because we have no athletics right now. You know what? Let's do the liquid piping. I'd like to play around with water. I don't know if I'll be doing it today, but as long as we get someone on this machine, that's kind of important. Now, we need somebody on the manual generator as well. The problem is there's so much going on right now. People are doing everything. Hopefully, yeah, Shannon's going to start doing all the science-related stuff. So, perfect. Let's also queue up some uh, mush bars because we're going to need them. Now, unfortunately, as you can see, it may cause diarrhea. So, this is an issue. Uh, disease is going to happen with these guys. Uh, and I'm eating some of the worst food right now, so I want to get rid of that as quickly as possible uh, because I don't want to get diseased. So I'm hoping we can get lice loaves soon. Uh, that's what I'm going to hopefully build. Now, to get lice loaves, I wrote it down here. You get them from mealwood plants. So do we have any mealwood here? Uh, I believe this one, yes. This is mealwood right here. So we actually got some growing around right now, but I definitely do want to get a plantation so we can have some delicious lice. That's the plan for today. Uh, food's going to be a big concern. I can't actually see my food right now, but you get the idea. It's very, very low, and that is dangerous. Let's actually look at the contamination amount of the food as well. Uh, rations box, does it actually say? Storing 25 kgs of 150, stores a small amount of food. Uh, it doesn't actually say the contamination, but the food does slowly contaminate, which can spread disease as well, and we obviously don't want that. All right, research station, wow, she's actually already done. So let's fabricate some more of this. Uh, again, the supercomputer is only to choose what you want to research. So I didn't know that, but uh, yeah, you both basically need both of these together. At least that's from what I understand. And C-Top's uh, making some meal mush for us. I, all right, I, got, I gotta tell them to sweep. That's the one thing I don't like. I wish they would automatically sweep, especially with how bad contamination can be here. But we got, obviously, shit everywhere. Probably a lot of actual shit. Let's also, uh, this one's been here for a while, so let's clean that toilet just in case we don't want any contamination, obviously. All right, so there we go. We got our room more or less set up, unassigned and tomed. Oh, okay, so let's get, uh... We're gonna dig these out. There we go. Uh, dig this, dig this. So this must have fell down from the roof. My bad. And we're also going to... Let's just dig all of that out. Uh, also, we need another cot. I forgot about that. So we're going to do that right now. All right, there we go. And because it's probably getting pretty close to nighttime, I want to up this to a 9 to make sure that this is all ready for them when they are ready to go to bed. So hopefully we can get that done. Uh, we are going to put a door on this later on, but right now it shouldn't really need one again. We're not having oxygen issues right now, so we don't need to close anything off. What's the yellow, though? Uh, slightly toxic, very toxic. Oh, contaminated oxygen. So we're getting contaminated oxygen around everywhere. Not really sure what that's from. A little scary, though, to be honest. 
All right, C-Top's digging out the beds too, so we should be okay. How are we doing for everything? Highest stress is 20%, so we are getting a little stressed now. Uh, again, we definitely didn't do this perfectly, so our guys are going to be stressed. I'm going to try and work on that right now with decor. So, uh, flower vase, we definitely do want... Uh, yeah, you can see the low decor around everywhere, and you definitely don't want that to happen. So we're gonna put some flowers around, make these uh, guys a little bit more happy. There we go. Uh, I guess we should probably put some over here, too, where they're working a lot, just to make them a little bit happier. And let's actually check the oxygen out. So we got CO uh, carbon dioxide down here. A lot of carbon dioxide down there. So I might want to be putting... Yeah, let's do that, actually. We're going to want another algae terrarium right here and right over here. So when the carbon dioxide does start flowing out of this, because carbon dioxide goes below oxygen in this game. Uh, so once it starts flowing out from down here, we can actually convert it, which should be good. Uh, also, let's do some deoxidizers around just because we're going to need them. Uh, so, breathable is in here. It's not considered very breathable, though. So, if we actually put one... Yeah, let's just put one up there. And we have the power grid already right by the ladder. So, we can just bring this right up to it. And we should be good to go. There we go. Alright, but I got these guys really busy right now. They're doing a lot of things. Uh, going down here. I don't like that you guys are going down here because there's a lot of carbon dioxide. You should go over to this one. We got some contamination over here, too, which we can purify later. Don't really know how to do it yet, but obviously we will get into it as we go about. As you can see, though, we got the next duplicate coming in, so our fifth one. Uh, let's actually click that and choose duplicate right now. All right, so like I said, I want athletics right now. I want to assign someone to the hamster wheel the whole time. So we got Brady over here is a level 8 runner, and Quincy is a level 7 runner. Let's... I guess that's really all, because we can't shuffle them. I keep forgetting about that. Uh, so both of these are really good. I just want to see which one would be better. Stupid takes a little longer, longer than usual to do their business. Uh, that's okay. We actually have two toilets now, so that's not a huge deal. Stupid is unshakable. Fear of kitchens and culinary arts. All right, that might come into an issue when he want, doesn't want to eat and stuff. So I think we're going to hire Brady here. Now, as I said in the last uh, video, I'm going to go to the comments and choose one of you guys to be this guy. So let's do that right now. All right, and I actually quickly saved the game and closed it, and I realized you can actually reopen the game and get a whole selection of new characters. So, I don't really care. We don't need the perfect characters here. Uh, this run, I gotta be honest, I don't think we're gonna last much longer. I mean, I think we might get a few more episodes out of this one, but this was more of a trial and error type thing. Anyways, we got Melody here. She's seven athletics. She's also got diver lungs. Uh, air consumption rate is minus 25, which can be huge later on. Uh, this duplicate is light as a feather as well on their feet. So, uh, yeah, you get plus 7 athletics. So, we're going to change Melody into Navy Otter. So, congrats, Navy Otter. I chose hi him because he said he's good at handling dangerous, contaminated water. And, obviously, uh, we're gonna need some <laughs> help with that because I almost I almost ruined our whole base today guys that was that was really fucking close all right so grats Navy Otter for joining in the next one you know what let's just say you know whoever does the best joke in the next episode is the one that's going to be in here so there you go Navy Otter and we're actually going to assign them the job of running so I'm actually hoping we can do this uh, generate power so yes we're gonna drop it from everyone else and Navy Otter, we're going to drop everything from Navy Otter aside from generating power. Is there anything else they could really do that might be helpful? Uh, deliver, maybe? That might be helpful. So let's get her to do that as well as she is a runner. Uh, Navy Otter, I'm assuming you're a guy, but you're a girl in this game, so just deal with it. Uh, and I guess combat as well, just in case that ever happens. So there we go. We got Navy Otter full-time, more or less, on the manual generator. Alright, and with that being said, uh, upon editing this video, we're actually already done another full episode, so I was hoping to get the farm done today, but honestly, I'm pretty happy with where, where we got to. Uh, again, it's gonna be a lot of rebuilding from our mistakes in the first few episodes. Uh, I do want to get all these tiles down. In the perfect world, you generally only want one tile between floors. Uh, so we might have to dig out a little bit more as well. I don't know. We'll see what we can do. I'm just gonna do the best I can here, and, uh, hopefully in the next run-through we'll do even better. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Next episode we'll be doing, dealing with this farm, uh, because our food is running drastically low. Uh, and of course working on making sure all our vitals are okay. So as always, guys, thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.